Good morning, Colin. Right, um, further to our conversation with the valve collet retainers. This here is an old exhaust valve that's come out of the engine. And as you can see, it's hard to go to focus. It's had a pretty rough life. But see the shaped end here. Obviously the collet retainer sits over the end of the valve. Very snug fit. And the tiny little collets pop into this gap here. As such. And then the cap here, which is the rotator, pops onto the top of the valve stem as such. Now, I bought a whole new valve train from AgriLine, and this is what they've supplied me with. Eight of these. You can see that the standard end on this valve here, and this is for all eight valves. Standard collets, springs. We didn't get these. And I'm ex I think you don't get these because you're expected to reuse these from the old engine. The difficulty that I've got is that these are totally different shapes and sizes because this one is off the inlet valves and the inlet valve spring is bigger. So that fits into the inlet valve, so that's fine. But when it comes to the outlet valve, the exhaust valve rather, it won't fit into the spring. So, one of the valves had been replaced within the engine. And it was it had this on it as opposed to because it was an inlet it was an exhaust valve that had been replaced and instead of having one of these in it had this little device in which this diameter here fits into the exhaust spring beautifully and it also at this end obviously will accept the larger collets because like such there we go now I thought that I was going to be able to use four of them for the exhaust side life and four of these for the inlet side wasn't until this morning that I've actually realized that the exhaust valve springs are smaller and therefore this will not fit in. I checked this morning as well, these are hardened. So, and that there is enough material in here that there could be machine, well, they'll have to be ground out to do the same dia internal dampener as this one. So, the question is, have you got standard collar retainers like this one, but of ex like large outside dampener, 1.38 inches, large out there secondary diameter 1.073 with this hole in the middle of it and that is 7.780 down to 0 0.719 nope sorry 736 had that tipped there we go now or have you got four of these little items which again the outside diameter on this one is 
1.380. Spring diameter 1.074. And then the internal cap size will be 7.791 and that pops into there and that works beautifully with the exhaust spring the new valves that I've got and also the new collets that I've got. Well, I will win it. There we go. That's it. So that all fits in there beautifully. So have you got four of them, please? Or if not, do you know possibly where I'll be able to get four of them? Because as I say, it will be I had a thought that we might just be able to machine that out, turn it out on a lathe, but I've just tested it and it is hard. So it either have to be annealed, machined and rehardened, or ground out. And I can imagine grind there's a lot of meat in there to remove to get that the right shape. Right. But you can see there the difference. These valves, these new valves, this one, it's come from AgriLine. And I did ask when we bought them if they would fit the engine, if they were suitable for the engine. And I was told, yes, they were. Well, maybe suitable at this end. These are 1.34, I believe, diameter. These are 1.5 diameter. They sit fairly high in the head but uh, as I say hopefully hopefully you'll be able to have something like this which as I say is one point three eight One point zero seven five point seven eight point seven three two. That's a fifty thou run on them, roughly fifty thou run in there for the lock the collets in. Hope you can help. Thank you very much.